Let's teach you all about Flocabulary, the website whose mission is to teach concepts and vocabulary with hip-hop and rhymes through music videos. Start your Flocabulary journey by going to flocabulary.com, clicking on the Log In button, and then choose Log In with Google. Enter your hcsdk12.org Google information, and then check out Flocabulary's homepage. The songs and videos they have are organized by subject, and then concepts within those subjects. So if you're teaching Multiply by 8s, click on the math, and then click on Multiplication and Division, and then find Multiply. Apply by eight and click play and let it go. Yo, B, do you know about your eights? Man, I know about my eights and I feel great. It gives you a pretty good feel for the website right there. If you find a video that you really like, click on the little star above it to add it to your favorites. You can access different handouts and quizzes and rundowns and lyric sheets and things like that just by clicking on the teacher resources button at the top of any video as well. But why do whole group when you can assign work to kids? Go to the vocabulary homepage and click on My Classes. Then click the blue Create a Class button. Give your class a name and choose your grade subject area. I would enable the text-to-speech tool because why not? And then choose your school from the drop-down list and click the blue create a class button. To get your kids into the class, they go to the home page and click on join a class and then enter the class code that is created for you. You can also import a class from Google Classroom. Click on the import a class button. You're going to run into an error at first. Head up to the URL bar and click on the pop-up blocker icon. Click always allow pop-ups and done. And then try that again and it should work a lot better. It takes you to your account sign in and allow it to access your Google Classroom. And it's going to import your kids from your classroom that you choose. So you see a list of the classes that you have. Tick the box next to the one that you want to import. Choose the school that we're importing this class into, and then click the blue Submit button. It takes a few seconds to load your kids in, but it's worth not having them worry about a code. So as soon as your classes are loaded in, you're ready to assign work to your kids. Head out to the Flocabulary homepage and find a video that you'd like to assign to your students. I chose the Current Events category and This Week in Rap for Juniors. So click on the one that you want, and up in the left-hand corner, you'll see a blue Assign button. Just click on that, and then and choose the class that you want to assign it to. Now you can choose the work that you want your kids to actually do. The first one you probably want is for them to watch the video, but then you have some options. You can have your kids read some text and respond to it, and they can take a quiz on the video too. Just tick the box next to the work that you want them to do and click Create Assignment. If you want to see the work that a kid actually did, head to Your Classes, click on the class name that had work assigned to it, find the assignment, and click the giant blue View button next to the name of it. In the next screen, you'll see your students listed out along with columns for all the work that you assigned and a rundown of how they did. The video one is green if they watched it. If you click on any of the percentages under the other work, you can go through question by question and see how your students did. Clicking on the comprehension analysis tab lets you dig a little bit deeper into each of the activities if they had questions attached to them. But what about those other activities that I didn't check the boxes for? One of them is called vocab cards and it's great. If you're on any video, you can click on the vocab button and it brings up vocabulary cards for the video. Click on the vocabulary vocabulary card that you want to see, and you can hear the word red, red coat. and they can see the definition. When kids click right with this word, they can use the word in a sentence, and that sentence stays on their vocabulary card, adding their own personal touch to their understanding of this word. If they click on the button at the bottom that says draw, they are able to create a simple image that they can then associate with this term as well, adding one more layer of understanding to some content vocabulary, and of course, clicking save saves all those changes. In in my eyes, this is a very accessible way to create some really high quality vocabulary cards that kids can refer to throughout the school year just by going to vocabulary. But what would a website about hip hop and rhymes be without a way to create your own? On any video, clicking on the create button takes the kids to the lyric lab where kids can create their own rhymes and even test them out by setting them to a beat. Important vocabulary words are provided for the kids and even highlighted when they've been used inside the rhyme that the kids create. Syllables are counted so kids can pay attention to meter, and there's some great tools to help kids find the words that they're looking for or that would best fit the rhymes they've created. For example, if I click at the end of my last lyric and hit enter, the system is automatically going to search for words that rhyme with the last word in my previous lyric. Kids can use those words to help them generate some ideas, and they can click on the words in the list to get a quick definition just in case they don't understand what they mean. Once kids are satisfied with the lyrics they've created, for their rhyme. They can choose from a small library of beats provided by Flocabulary to give their rhyme some flow.
kids can use the drop down to choose a different mood. And once they're satisfied, they can click the save button in the upper right hand corner to save that work and that rhyme. And that's it, a quick rundown of flowcabulary.com in about five-ish minutes. Just imagine that I was rapping that whole time.